So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but to take over the world. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take over YouTube! Let me start this review by saying that I was sad to hear about the death of Prince Philip. But do not despair, dear viewer. I am sure Nelson Mandela is waiting for him to kick his ass. Now on with the review. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Bucktotem Bertram. And this is my review for Cyber Shadow. So my friend, Cyber Shadow was released in 2020 for the console thingamajigs. You're probably looking at the footage here and thinking, 2020? But this game looks like bollocks. To which I say, ah, but that's because, dear viewer, this is what we call a retro-inspired game. But yes, you are absolutely correct. It does indeed look like bollocks. So, what is Cyber Shadow all about? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. We play as, I want to say, a cyber ninja who wakes up from, uh, I want to say, stasis to kill enemies and, I want to say, do something. I'm very sorry, dear viewer. You see, I was too busy watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier to pay any attention to the story. But, like pornography, you didn't come here for the story. You came here for the action, so let's get to... Uh, I want to say the good stuff. So... Let's start the good stop section of the review by saying that playing this game is like someone managed to finish my time machine and sent me back to the 1990s. Twas a much simpler time of Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage, Disney platformers, and nightly visits from my uncle Roderick. You know, I wonder how prison life is treating that bastard. Hmm. Now, Cyber Shadow is what might be spewed out if an original Nintendo had too much sake and threw up in the 1980s. It's like Ninja Gaiden Metroid and Castlevania, you know, the old ones that your parents used to play in between taking drugs and listening to terrible music, it's like they all engaged in some sordid menage a trois, like your parents used to do, and birthed Cyber Shadow which bears all the worst traits of those games. Uh, no voice acting. Uh, no British voice acting. Uh, and a distinct lack of voice acting. On a serious note, yes, I do make them sometimes. This game is very much a game of the late 1980s. Which means, like my Aunt Bertha, who was a fat dominatrix, it will eat you up and spit you out. In Aunt Bertha's case, for a fee. Instant death spikes, knockback, bloody flying enemies, 
all these things and more. I'm going to have you pulling your penis off. I mean, pulling your head out. But never give up and you'll see the credits. Eventually. You won't be the same person as the one who started the game. I know I wasn't. I destroyed three grand pianos, cut off eight of my fingers, and called Bertram a poo head. And that was just on the title screen. So, gameplay. You run, jump, platform, attack, and later you can wall slide and collect power-ups to increase your health, etc, etc. So far, so Mega Man. Wait a bloody minute, he was a cyber person too. I smell plagiarism. And fish. Bertram, I don't want fish for dinner. We had fish last night, and the bloody night before. Macaroni and cheese, I want macaroni and cheese. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Macaroni and cheese, have you got that? Write it down. What? No, I don't have a bloody pen. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Difficulty! So, the obvious comparison to make this game is Ninja Gaiden. But I prefer to compare it to my Uncle Roderick. A pension for punishment. Rock hard and over before it's even begun. Now, I don't consider myself to be an angry man. I mean, sometimes I do lose my temper, but that doesn't necessarily mean I am what you would call an angry man. I mean, I don't turn green or anything. But this game, Cyber Shadow, frustrated me so much at points that I cut eight of my fingers off. I mean, you can still play games with just your thumbs, right? I'm sorry? You're joking! Ah, in a nutshell, this game is harder than Uncle Roderick watching a home video of me in the bath. What? How old am I in the video? Well, 36, but I, I don't see what that has to do with anything. So, music! Listening to the music is like making passionate love to a Sega Mega Drive. Just uh, make sure you unplug the console from the mains if you're going to attempt that. I don't think you'll want to explain that if you end up in the hospital. Trust me, I know. What else can I tell you? Ah, uh, oh yes! There's a vehicle section that I think even the Battletoads would think twice about playing. It's difficult, therefore I pronounce it garbage. Why? Because I said so, that's why. So, in conclusion, if you are a fan of hard retro platformers, then Cyber Shadow might just be the game for you. I personally found the game more frustrating than fun. Therefore, I am going to give Cyber Shadow a 6 out of 10. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Cyber Shadow. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Share the video to the masses. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed. 
with gaming. Yes. Are you still here? Go away. I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. I'll be the same. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away. Vacate this space. Hit the cross at the top of the screen. The video is done. It's over. It's finito. It's caputo.